Hello everyone, my name is Mr. Am. Today we are going to learn how to use Desmos. Desmos is an online tool or an application you can use your laptop, your desktop, your iPad, any, any um, devices that you have. All you have to do is to download it when you have your mobile phone or you can just simply go to your search engine and type Desmos, but be graphic calculator. There you go. What I want you to do is to log in, or if you don't have a, any, if you don't have um, an account yet, I want you to sign up. Why is that? Since I have my, my account already for Desmos, I'm gonna log in. Why do I want you to sign up or log in every time you use a decimal? So that you can save your uh, work. You don't have to type them, uh, type them over and over again. Now let's begin with linear function first, the easiest. So here in the untitled graph, what I want you to do is to type in linear function. Okay, I have my linear function there already. Then save. So what does a linear function look like? y equals mx plus b, right? So that's the slope-intercept form of linear function. You can use your, your laptop to type in the function or you can also use this uh, keypad. y equals, let's say, 2x plus, let's say, 3. Now if you notice, the the, the grid is populated by the graph itself. You can actually move your, your screen, your grid, I mean, right? Now, on, on this uh, bar on the uh, right side of the screen, you, you see the plus and the minus. The plus is to zoom in, and this is to zoom out, the minus, right? Notice I have a, a red uh, a circle there where the curve, the line is in red. If I want to change it, all you need to do is to click this, uh, this icon and then notice that there is just a simple dot. You can change it to different styles or different colors. So if I change this to green, boom, it's now green. Now. If I'm going to click a point right here, right there, it gives me the coordinate of that point, 0, 3, which is the y-intercept. Obviously, that's the y-intercept there, or the value of b, and the x-intercept, negative 1.5, 0. It's cool, isn't it? Uh, how do you label, like, label this graph? What I want, what you could do is to type on the next next line, if you know that. Let's type in a coordinate. Negative one, comma one, parentheses, oops. All right, and then label. How do you label it? Instead of that label, what I want you to do is to copy this. Just like you can highlight it, and then control C, put it here. And there you have it. The function is, um, is on the, next to the line, which is basically the, the name of the line. Right? Is that clear? All right, now what if I have another function to graph on the same grid? Let's go to the third one. So if I say to you, let's say this is the slope intercept form, right? If I want to graph, um, Let's say 3x minus 2y equals 1. And there you have it. This is the second line. We don't want to get confused with this function and this. Uh, the second function, there you go. So change that to, let's say, uh, orange. There you go. So, we'll if I want to clone this, or I want to copy-paste this, uh, the first function, y equals 3x plus, uh, 2x plus 3, control C, I'm going to copy it, it here, 
Now, instead of a function, I want a table. How do I do that? Again, click this setting. You see this? There's a, um, a table icon. You can change this function into that right, to create a table of uh, a table of values for this function. The first one. If you notice, uh, it says here the dots are, are, are in purple. See the dots here? They are in purple. How do you copy that? One more time. How do you copy this function? Um, another way is click that setting or the, that button click that and if you notice you have here a duplicate boom there you go going back to this table oh, so the default by the way of the table is from negative 2 to positive 2 but if you want to add more uh, rows all you need to do is to go to the, uh, the, the last x value on the table x column and then enter, 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 and it, if you notice, it populates the function. Now, using this pad, I think this is the enter. There we go. It's cool, isn't it? Now, what if you want more points there? So maybe let's try. Oops, it's undefined. You know what? What you could do is to change this to a um, a smaller one, negative seven, and then let's enter negative six. If you want to know the value of uh, the y, the y value when x is negative nine or negative fifteen. There you go. Negative fifteen is negative gives you negative twenty seven. Let's save it first. Save. And then how do you share? Share it with, click this button, you see there's a, a box and an arrow. You can, you can copy the link and share it to your Google Classroom. Or now, uh, how about the image? Okay. Now you have the options from thin, thick, or I mean medium or thick. Let's see, medium, you notice that the lines are thicker and the, the axis, X and Y axis are thicker. thicker in, the, in that case. Okay, that's how you share it. You can share it to your teacher, or if you're a teacher, you can share it to your student, or you can use it um, on your worksheet. Oh, yeah, there's another one. Now, let's say, we have, you know, what if I have another function here? Let's say, um, okay, 3x plus, 2y equals equals 2 right there so this is a system of linear equation into variables it gives you the intersection it gives you an actual value of the intersection negative 0 0.571 comma 1.8757 it's cool isn't it <laughs> So when, when you're, you're solving an equation, a system of linear equation, so if you're using the method of elimination and substitution, you can use the decimals to check your work graphically.